Hey guys, what's happening? Performance Speed 2 here, and I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a tutorial because I had two requests actually to do this. Um, people were wondering how to make a banner for Pokemon, and it, it would also work for anything else. So first things first, we're going to open up a program of our choice. Um, you could actually use Paint.net or whatever you please. Um, I am going to do Photoshop because I have it. GIMP also works perfectly fine. It's all depending on what you exactly want to do. Um, and once this gets open, I'm going to tell you firsthand. Um, it doesn't really matter what size you want. It's, I mean, what size you have. It's more on what you want, really. Um, it's very lenient, really. You can actually position this around with camps, Camtasia. Um, I personally use Camtasia for it. I don't know if it actually works. I mean, I'm sure it works for other programs, but I'll be completely honest, Camp Sta Camtasia, jeez, I keep saying Camtasia, uh, <laughs> when I'm trying to say the other thing, it doesn't work right for me. Alright, and um, I'm just going to show you guys the banner that I had previously, and this is something that you could probably do pretty easily, uh, not super easily, it still takes a little while of time, but um, we're going to go ahead and use this base, uh, I'll show you now what the size of that is. Uh, one second, I gotta go back a little bit. Alright, and I'm gonna show you what the size of that is. It's a, a 108 by 406. So you can use that. You can use whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna go and make a transparent layer just because I want one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a background for this first. And to get a background, um, you can make one on your own. You can really do whatever you'd like. You can actually even do one with just gradients. It depends on how much work you want to put into it, basically. Um, I'm just going to make a very simple one to start off, just to show you guys what is easy and what you can do easy. I said easy twice there. But um, just pick whatever you think works for your video. It's, again, all dependent on you. Everything you can do is pretty much self-made. And it's Camtasia is actually pretty cool because it helps you out and you can even zoom in on something or make it smaller with your call out banners um, I'm gonna wait for Google to load here it takes a little while because I'm recording but um, we're gonna go ahead and say huh, red background I don't know just because again you can spend a lot more time on this I'm just going quick to show you guys what exactly you have to do if you want a more say um, I don't even know a better looking one T spend more time on it um, I can help you guys out with that somehow if you really need help I'll try to help out with more tutorials if need be I'm gonna pick this because it looks good to me um, make sure that it doesn't have a copyright on some of these image uh, if it does I wouldn't recommend using it but I'm guessing this doesn't just because it's on Google images something on the first page uh, but if it's a drawing or a piece of art, I would steer clear of that if possible. So, I'm um, just telling you that for starters. And I'm going to say, Erd, let's play. And if you saw mine beforehand, hey Max, sorry. If you saw mine beforehand, you'll see that I actually had these on different, um, kind of like crooked. I'll show you how to do that actually if you'd like to see. Um, basically, just type in one word, let's, and then I scooted it over here, and you can press Control T with Photoshop, and then just turn it like that, and it's pretty easy, really. Um, and then I'll do play here, and turn that. It's really easy, honestly. Um, a lo lot of it is easier than you'd expect it to be, honestly. And you could say, have Pokemon here like mine did um, it's it's uh, I'm sorry I keep saying it but it really is up to you how much work you want to put into it the more work you put into it the better received it might be um, I'm not gonna be putting work into it too much um, now that I've said that for the 15th time um, so we're gonna just go ahead and say some people actually like to use this for an area where they put Pokemon sprites of the other person and say, like, have it be an Umbreon, 
pop up or something like that and they would have the little sprite under and say some of the moves it has or something like that um, you can do that if you want um, I personally don't use that but it's up to you um, and then what I did I actually made banners separately but you don't have to do that if you don't want to I'm going to not to for this I'm just gonna be like say Cory is one of my Pokemon I'll say um, then I got Brian then I got Danny um, yeah <laughs> I, I'm just naming off people um, I'm not gonna put everybody on our team but uh, yeah basically I just put all those guys I'm gonna move these over to the right and then I'm gonna grab some sprites um, the Umbreon, I might actually grab a sprite for that, so, yeah, why not? I'll drop these down a little bit. <laughs> I, I know I'm spending too much time on the banner. I'm just kind of a perfectionist kind of person. Uh, Alright, there we go. And sprites. I use Spriter's Resource, personally. You don't have to use sprites if you don't want to. You can actually use uh, Su Sujimori. I don't know how to say it, really. But Sujimori... Um, like paintings kinda and oops whoops you you can put Sujimori paintings and put them in like little boxes say how about we actually do like boxes and I'll scoot this up a little bit in between each other and um, I'll show you how to do sprites for the boxes just because I like to do that <laughs> Pokemon Umbreon yeah because that's a game All right. yeah that's that's enough space and to make a box we're just gonna go in here and we could grab a shape but shapes make a new layer um, I forget where it is <laughs> I don't use Photoshop all that often I use actually use GIMP a little bit more often but I know that some people use Photoshop more or paint.net everything's gonna work kind of the same it's the same idea really um, I'm actually not gonna make a box I'll just put the sprites there um, I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> you've you've heard it enough times, so you could make a box. So that's all I'm trying to say. And Brian is going to be a Mewtwo. <laughs> Corey is gonna be a Magikarp. But no, um, I'll get this working. Just give me one momento. See who play. And I'll grab the sprites and put them on there. I'm gonna pause the recording just so that you don't have to watch me do that. I actually figured I might show you guys how to make transparencies it's pretty easy really um, I'm going to just grab the first thing I see which is <laughs> well I was gonna grab the um, gloom but it has those little floating things so it's gonna be harder to grab um, then I can make this just new and I'll open up a new Photoshop document after I save this and then I can just switch from window to window easier. I, I don't know how to save or switch from window to window easy. I'm just going to save it as Untitled 1 because I'm not really using it for anything. And then we're going to open up a new file, Untitled 2, I guess. And see this little eraser? I, I, you, you might already know this, but you click Magic Eraser and you can erase everything around it. You can't see it right there because of the background. But now we're going to switch over to the first thing and make that Cory and then Brian I'll just pick another random crap oops random thing and oh yeah you don't really need to see this now that alright now that we're done with adding our little sprites here um, I'm actually going to merge visible you might want to save beforehand just in case you want to edit anything I would definitely do that um, and I'm actually gonna get rid of this on behind because it's <laughs> not needed um, but then what I do is I usually just merge visible and then it's all on one thing so we're gonna save that as a PNG file which is a high quality um, high quality basically image file if you didn't know and we're gonna call it uh, Pokemon awesome banner and now that we have that we're going to go ahead and open up our Camtasia Studio 7, which I only know how to do it on this. If you know how to do it on something else, please tell me. I actually do not know how to add callouts on anything else, so I would highly recommend getting this. 
it is not only a great um, editing system, it is a great recording system as well. So we're going to import our banner, and also at the same time we're going to go ahead, oh no, um, and go into, what am I doing? <laughs> go into, here I'll, I'll just grab a Pokemon Gold Silver Race. Um, I actually wanted to do this, but I didn't ever finish it. Um, so we're going to grab that and import in our little banner. It, I'll actually show you how to do this as well, just in case you didn't know. Um, I'm going to add my audio to this video in case I need to do that as well. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and import some video. Getting our what's it called whatever thing here um yeah we have enough time oops let's close this it's called the pokemon awesome banner yes and we are actually we can actually drag this straight onto our little thing here I'll put that down there my best recommendation for a banner like this if you're gonna have it on both sides um, I actually put it on this side as 209 787 oops and y negative 40 that, that's just my um, what I use for this banner I'm actually gonna put it down a little bit so that you can see the let's play but that's what I use normally for my banners I'm not gonna make it fade out or anything and then we, we can zoom in here with control and plus at the same time and take that out a little bit so that we can bring it to the end here and I'm gonna take down the audio a little bit put the volume down on there and put the volume up on here I have to do that because my bikes a little bit quieter you don't always have to do that just saying and what we're gonna do here is actually zoom and pan and once we're in here we turn off maintain aspect ratio sometimes it will actually come back straight away it's like that um, just click it again I won't do it more than one, two times but it, it it's not too annoying it just does that and we can go ahead and zoom in on our um, screen here and be a little bit lenient because realize that um, you can have a little bit of black bars and you don't want that because you have this banner here you're actually going to want to stretch this out a little bit and get it to where it looks good um, I this looks about good right here Oops. well I had it good but uh, a little bit more there we go and there we have it. We have our banner, and let's check out the video now. All right. Well, I can. <laughs> I don't. I don't really remember what what this video is. So, yes, that's how it works. Um, yeah. I'll just show you a little bit further into the video. It's gonna stay like that the entire way through. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> that, that's all I have for this episode. Well, not really. Episode, what am I saying? Ah! Alright, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you. If you need any help, talk to me in the comments. I will try to answer everything I can. If there's any problems, tell me. I'll do my best to help everybody out. And I hope you enjoyed again. Hope this helped a ton. Have an awesome day and an awesome night.